to maintain security and to overcome the unending tactics of the villain militaries and innovators from all around the world have been working together to build and test cutting-edge weapons similar to what you'd see in a James Bond film. These are some of the most cutting-edge firearms now in production all across the world, including the Lipeti protector and a handgun that can only be fired by the owner. Welcome to Future Tech Lab, and today we'll take a look at some of the most powerful and coolest guns in the world, which guns have more power, and which among them are the most powerful. Stay tuned. Number 9. The Lipeti Protector The Lipeti Protector is a ring pistol that is also known as the Femme Fadeo. In terms of the mechanics, it is rather straightforward, consisting of nothing more than an empty mechanism that requires taking out the complete cylinder. However, it has a remarkable similarity to rifles that were produced in France or Belgium throughout the 19th century. The frame of this German silver ring pepper box revolver is all that is required in order for it to function. The person who is wearing the piece has the ability to fire live bullets from the ring. The size of the revolver enabled it to be worn on virtually any finger. When firing the gun, the index finger is often used. Loading and unloading bullets is the only issue. The user is required to extract the pistol cylinder from the ring base of the handgun by using a small jeweler's screwdriver. Don't let small size fool you, it is quite a lethal force. Number 8. Ouija 18C Double Barrel Pistol When we all thought that the Glock 17 was sufficient, we now have a two-barrel pistol, which is now available for you. The dual-barrel Glock has a single slide, a double trigger, and a double magazine. It also only fires in tandem. The magazine's design for the ordinary Glock 17 cannot be used with this variation. The full auto mode of this gun is truly something to witness. This particular pistol is one of a kind. The Wii Double Barrel G18C has been updated with a wide variety of brand new unique components. We have a dual barrel slide, a dual hammer assembly, a dual magazine housing, a dual lower frame, independently adjustable hop-ups, and a G-Series dual magazine slash base plate and dual barrel bushings. Because there are 50 bullets in the dual magazine, you will have 25 opportunities to fire when the magazine is full. Number 7. Full Conceal Meters 3s When folded, the Full Conceal Meters 3s handgun is not only convenient for daily concealed carry but also pleasant to carry due to its well-balanced weight distribution. When compared to a conventional handgun, a fully loaded and folded Full Conceal Meters 3 weapon is far safer to transport, handle, and keep in one's possession. When folded and stored in a covert location without the use of a holster, it poses no risk of accidental firing. In high-pressure and low-light settings, the intuitive auto-indexing unfolding method makes it easy and rapid to deploy the device. It is simple to conceal your activities when getting ready to deploy by placing your hands in your pockets. This may be done without drawing attention to what you are doing. Using this gun couldn't be easier, swift as well as trustworthy. Number 6. Calibri 27mm Invented in 1914 by Francois Fanel, the Calibri Model 2 is the world's smallest centerfire pistol making it the record holder for its size category. The blowback action is quite similar to that of the majority of 22 caliber handguns. Because of the weapon's minuscule size, it does not have rifling, which results in having a poor aim. When the cartridge is fired at its typical velocity, which is around 656.2 feet per second, the muzzle energy that is produced is enough to take you down. Because of the small size of the cartridge, there is hardly any feeling of recoil. Calibri guns have a very distinct appearance. The calibers feature gilded finishes and etchings on the metal parts, but other than that, they are identical to other guns made in the United States. Number 5. The Magpul FMG-9 In 2008, Magpul Industries developed a prototype of a folding machine gun that they termed the FMG-9. It was modeled after a Glock 18 that had a folding carbine stock attached to it. The entire weapon may be folded up and stored in a box, thanks to its covert carry design, because there is a charging handle located on the outside of the weapon. The outside casing does not need to be removed in order to load a cartridge. The magazine release and slide release are both standard Glock features, and they are both included on the FMG-9. The extended magazine that holds 33 rounds for the Glock 18 was designed to work with the shell. To deploy the weapon, one just needed to pull the charging lever located on the exterior of the gun, and it would take care of the rest. Due to the fact that the weapon was modeled after the Glock 18, its rate of fire was relatively similar to that of a Glock 18. 
Instead of being constructed of metal, it was made of a lightweight polymer, which made moving it around a breeze. Number 4. The Heckler and Cock G11. The Heckler and Cock G11 is a prototype of an assault rifle that was developed to take the place of the G3 assault rifle that was used by the West German military throughout the Cold War. So, what makes this weapon unique? This firearm utilizes caseless ammunition, which is somewhat uncommon in the world of firearms. This particular rifle has a cylinder breech and chamber configuration, which enables it to be spun through a full 90 degrees. Before each shot, the chamber of the gun is rotated 90 degrees to align the cartridge with the barrel. The cartridges are then inserted into the chamber. After a series of shots, the chamber of the rifle will be flushed clean because the spent cartridge will be forced out of the chamber with each new shot. The priming handle of a gun remains in the same position during the whole firing process. When shooting in full auto, the housing moves back and forth between each shot at a pace of around 600 rounds per minute. Number 3. Mossers C9-6 The Mossers C9-6, sometimes referred to as the Brumandel, was one of the first semi-automatic pistols to become widely available for purchase and use. The C9-6 is notable in that it does not have any pins and only has a single screw throughout the entirety of the handgun. This screw is used to attach the grip panels to the weapon. The C9-6 saw its initial usage in action for the first time during the Boer War, 1899 to 1902 in South Africa. During World War I, the German army found it difficult to get sufficient quantities of its standard issue, Luger P08 pistols, so it decided to acquire the C96. Many German commanders considered this weapon to be superior to the Luger for use as a personal sidearm. During the entirety of World War II, it was also utilized by the second line infantry of the Reichswehr, German army. Number 2. DSR Precision DSR-50 Sniper Rifle The DSR-50 is essentially a bigger version of the DSR-1. However, it is chambered for substantially more powerful ammunition than the DSR-1 was. A blast compensator is mounted on the muzzle of the DSR-50, serving as both a muzzle brake and a suppressor in one convenient package. When it comes to decreasing felt recoil, the blast compensator that comes standard on the DSR-50 outperforms the majority of muzzle brakes seen on rifles of similar caliber. The amount of perceived recoil is reduced thanks to a hydraulic buffer, as well as a little monopod mounted on the buttstock. Because of its bullpup design, it may have a shorter overall length, while yet having a full-length barrel which makes it more adaptable. This allows it to be used in a variety of situations. The magazine is located behind the pistol grip of the weapon, rather than in front of it. Number 1. Armatix IP-1, the first smart gun. Armatix, a company that manufactures firearms has developed a new pistol that interacts with your wristwatch to increase gun security and prevent a misfire. Well, how does this work? The set comes complete with both a timepiece and a handgun chambered in 22 calibers. The smartwatch serves as a protective device. If the wristwatch is no longer within range, the rifle will lock, and it will no longer be possible to fire it. This particular firearm, an Armatix IP-1, contains a chip that is built in and monitors proximity. When the smartwatch is within range, a green light on the grip of the firearm illuminates to signify that it has automatically unlocked and is ready to be fired. This is a fantastic feature that, in the event that you misplace your firearm, will prevent it from being taken by another person or becoming lost. As a direct consequence of this, the probability of an accident should decrease. So, which gun impressed you the most? Which among them would you like to own? By the way, at your own risk? Comment below, let's engage. Also, if you are interested in more tech videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Goodbye. See you in the next video.